Okay, don't worry, darling. Do you have a grasp on what's going on? It's starting to give me worry, worry darling. darling. <laughs> the way things are kind Regret- of panning out. Yes, agree. Yeah, I think I know. I think I get it because I, I have had no choice but to consume every situation. Ha- no one has any choice. No. And, you have to. You're locked and in. There's someone, it's better than the movie, there's, I think. You know what? This press re- tour has something for everyone. Yeah, it really does. No matter who you're a fan or not a fan of. Now I'm thinking it's all on purpose. Now that you right, mentioned, that's what I was gonna now say. That you mentioned that. That's what I was going to say. It feels like kind of they're like, we already hired every single actor that's an, on the A-list top 10 yeah. right now. Let's stir it. It's already going to get the press. Let's like add something deeper to this whole thing. You're and so it's kind smart. of freaking me out because it's like, they're giving it a lot of hype for this mm-hmm. movie. Like, Did you hear that what the people at the Venice Film Festival were like, it was bad? And it has a 40 on Rotten Tomatoes. They need to just really make a documentary about the drama. I think Rod tweeted that. Mm-hmm. Oh, they do. At this point. That would do but better than the movie. Let's I, really quickly give yeah. an overview of our understanding. Right. Okay. It's, it started with people thinking that... F- Florence had beef with Olivia right. because Florence wasn't reposting the Don't Worry Darling trailers that Olivia was Florence posting. Pugh. Florence Pugh, the lead star actress of the film, was not reposting. Someone tweeted really quick to jump in. Someone tweeted, y'all are just making up new white people every day. Who is Florence Pugh? <laughs> He's like, I wouldn't necessarily know who she is if I didn't see Midsummer, but that's not even that wasn't even her big thing that she was in. Um, Little Woman, was that before? I didn't see it, yeah. So I don't... I feel like Little Woman was what I knew her from. It's I, I yeah I, I mean I know her now, but I was just like yeah. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. Like, I, and I, I feel like there's a, so many other things I just can't think of them for whatever reason. All right, so she wasn't okay. Reposting so she wasn't of- reposting. So everyone was like, there must be beef. Basically, everyone was just like, Florence is so quiet. Olivia's outwardly like sucking her dick, being like Florence is the most amazing woman. Yeah, yeah Florence yeah, that's is staying what it was. absolutely silent. And then people were speculating that Florence was upset because of the relationship that Harry and Olivia struck up on set and that Harry assumedly was getting paid. Is assumedly a a word? It works It it does work. Assumedly was getting paid a lot more than Florence. Who was? Harry, comma, Styles. Um, He was getting paid a lot more. Um, And then recently, I think, was the kicker was Shia LaBeouf, who was supposed to be Harry Styles' role, the lead male role. Olivia had gone on the record in her Variety interview, I think it was Variety, and said, we basically fired Shia because his methods didn't work and made people, i.e. Florence, uncomfortable. And, she and so we prioritize. I was, I'm, he was making me uncomfortable. That's what Olivia said, Florence said. Yeah. And Olivia was like, oh, we prioritize like women feeling comfortable on set, so we, let him, we, we fired him. And then Shia was like, uh, no, you didn't, and here's a video of you, that you sent to me. And then Olivia in the video that she had sent to Shia was like, please come back. Like, I think we can work this out. Miss Flo. Miss Flo will figure her shit out. What? Like throwing Flo under the bus in this video. I have something to say about the whole thing. A-listers need to act like A-listers or else they're just us. Well, and the they thing need is they are be. just, they're people. They can't be. Because then we have nothing. If they're not better than us, we have nothing. They are. That's, that's, Our problem as a society is that we don't understand that people are just people. They need to be. That's my problem as a human. Yeah, is that I don't understand that like all these people I idolize just people. But anyway, the premiere of Don't Worry, Darling was in Venice the other day, and it was just like clearly a a shit show, except for like the crowning jewel of everything, which was um, Harry Styles and Nick Kroll kissing. I think everyone knows how much I love Nick Kroll. So I don't know if you knew this, but you can make a lot li- a TikTok. You can convert a TikTok into a live photo that saves into your camera roll. And then you can make that live photo that was once the TikTok your phone background. So my phone background is this picture of Nick Roll and Harry kissing. But w- when you click on it, it becomes the TikTok. Cool, huh? That's very cool. Yeah. And I was actually able to make a support group for those of us who feel so strongly about Nick and he's not getting talked about. So if you guys want to join my support group on Facebook I think called Harry Styles is great, but let's talk about Nick Kroll. I think that's a forum that's available to you on Facebook.com. I think that it's really cool that he's involved mm-hmm. in this thing because I don't think that he's like on the same level. I know. It's, he's in my heart and in my mind, he's always been on the well, same level. So it's nice to see that. He's coming out very much ahead in this yeah, whole Yeah, it literally thing. looked because Harry was avoiding everyone on the carpet um, besides maybe spitting on Chris Pine. Wonderful.
grateful to be back in New York. I just popped very quickly to Venice to spit on Chris Pine. Oh my God, he admitted it. But he was avoiding everyone except for Nick. It literally felt like Harry texted Nick before the festival and was like, please stand with me, hold my hand. Like I text you before we go to events where I'm like, just don't leave my side. Yeah. That's what it felt like. Harry was there's probably a video, doing Nick. There's a video of all of them in a line on the red carpet and Olivia's on the far left and Chris Pine is trying to switch with people mm-hmm. who to not be next to Olivia. Everyone was trying to get she's, away from her. She's like volatile. It's she's well, like, do you think her and Harry broke up because everyone yeah, I think so too. Harry didn't even look at her. But she's been going she's been like with him. She's been like going on his well, on his she's tour. She's like yeah, I don't know. It's crazy because like he looks so happy on tour, like vibrant, smiley, like having the time of his life. And I've never seen anyone look more miserable anywhere than he looked he's yesterday. Gonna, he's going to age like a president. No one should be doing what he's doing. Do you think he spit on Chris Pine? No. Me neither. No one from Cheshire, England would spit on someone no, with I, he, that many Harry Styles and like, yeah. And if especially if you're Harry Styles. But I saw a video of it like frame by frame, like millisecond by millisecond and no spit came out of his mouth. It's so weird. When I, I watched the actual, like, the video. I saw that one too, but I saw the video. And something did move in, like, the original video. Like, but you don't see it till Chris Pine. But then you, when you watch the slow down version, I don't see anything. Right. I think maybe it was just, like, a ghost. Like a ghoul? Uh-huh. It's because something sinister is going on. Hmm. Olivia is, there's something sinister that's all there's evil afoot in venice there's evil afoot and i wonder what's going to come out next should i say where i might be going soon or do you think that's jinxing or is it manifesting i think it's manifesting okay i got invited to the don't worry darling premiere that's amazing in new york but they ghosted me so i don't know if i'm going anymore but i think i'm going which is why i think that you just say you're going because that was the last you heard yeah, I don't know. They haven't gotten back to me, but it's very possible that I might be there to kind of see all of this unfold yeah, they'll, they'll be in there person. Too. And I, they'll be there too. Should we call some shots? Should we do like a fantasy football esque prediction for? I mean, they're just what's like going to happen. Yeah, I, ho- I mean, hopefully this time Harry and Nick will kiss with tongue. <laughs> And that's all I could hope for because everyone else is going to stand there silently. Mm-hmm. 